see that the system is kind of a failure, especially to students who come mm -hmm. from all these backgrounds and don't speak English. But do you think that students are going on and achieving, even with the difficulty of the language and all these oh, barriers? Do you think, and do you feel that that's kind of a success to the system? This is what it taught them, and they're continuing on. Um. Mm, listen, I what I saw, um, and you've seen this too. Our kids sitting in front of Scantrons, um, you know, for, for, for 12 hours, 18 hours, right, taking these Regents exams. Um, I, I think that is, that's not the problem, right? It's just a test. That's not the problem. But that is a, 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 a reflect or a small little piece of what the larger problem is. Okay, so the question is, do kids who graduate go on and do better things? Yes, they do. Like, they do. There's also kids that don't go to school at all that go on and do better things. There are also kids that wind up in, in you know, in prison or jail, or they do something, and then they come out, and then they go on and do better things. It doesn't, to, you know, not to, not to mention everyone goes to school, pretty much, right? Everyone goes to school. So, when, when you say that, and, I, and I've heard this before, too, well, look at this person and that person, they went to school and they became great. Everyone, like, almost everyone goes to school. Right? And so, like, some people go to school and they become great, and some people go to school and they, and, and they don't, right? And <laughs> they're miserable, right? Um, and some people, be, and it depends on your definition, too. They become great. What does that mean? They, okay, they, they, they do really well in college, and they get the degree, and they go on, and they become a doctor, and they become a lawyer, and they do this, and they do that, and they make tons of money, and they have the kids, and, the, and, the, and the, they get married, and maybe in the other order, but whatever, right? <laughs> they do all these great things by every definition of success, but they're not happy. So are, how successful can you be? Are they stressed all the time? Some people do all those things and they're also happy, right? I, I, I don't know. My, my point is that there, there's better ways of doing things. Um, I, I think that, and, and, and there's better ways of doing things, and I think when we think about how it is we're going to improve the system, I think we need more opportunity for students to connect with themselves, right? And you, do, you don't do that by being told that you have to take these five classes in this time and then spending 180 days of, six, you know, of 40 minutes a piece in that class. Um, I don't think that's the most effective. And then the, like, sort of the canary in the coal mine is these, are these tests. When you, when you see kids taking 12 and 18 hour tests, um, you know, they're scheduled for three tests in a day at six hours each. And they're told that you can't you can't leave this building until you pass these, right? So you're there for five years or six years, and you can't go anywhere. I feel like that's just, you know there's got to be a better way to do it to do that. Um, I don't want to throw all of school away, right? I don't I don't want to close all schools everywhere. That's not that's not what that's not what this is about. Um, and I'm not and, and I'm not even pointing blame at people. I'm not saying it's the teacher's fault or it's the principal's fault or it's the board of education's fault. What I'm saying is that. Um, this, these are the problems with compulsion. We've actually known it for thousands of years that people don't learn as well when they're being forced to learn as when they come to work willingly. It's the same thing as eating food, right? It, you, the, the food that you want to eat is better than the food that you're being forced to eat, right? Or if I'm just throwing food at you, right? It's not, it, it, you're not going to enjoy it as much. Um, and that we have to focus less on the external factoids you know, who, you know what, what date did Christopher Columbus cross the ocean and what's the Pythagorean theorem and all, all these kinds of things. They're, they're good to know, um, but we have this out of context, this, this intense focus on these out of context factoids and we don't, and, and then the grades also, and we don't focus anywhere nearly enough on developing the, this unit that you're going to be with the rest of your life. And I agree with that because you need more than dates and equations to live your normal life and to do what you need to do.